Hey beautiful people, how are you doing? How is this nice so well there? Don't mind my stress face. I have been working since mommy. Feeling like stupid, but when I was working, my mind was like, let me just do this video that I'm the video of the design that I'm working on right now. And here I am. So before we get started, let me first appreciate my followers, my subscribers. You have been amazing. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for Call me to watch our video all the time. Like, <laughs> you have been amazing. And if you are new to our, to our channel, yeah, to our channel, please don't leave without subscribing to our channel. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified whenever we have a new video for you. So let us go straight to what I have for you this afternoon. Yeah, just like I said, that we're making the turban you have seen on the screen right there. So, and if you look at the turban, you're going to see fabric flower attached to the turban at the side. And that is the main reason I'm here to come and teach you how to make this fabric flower. I not buy it for market, no at all. I made everything from the scratch. And if you want to know how to do this, make sure you watch the video to the end. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. Even right now, subscribe. Right now, like, share, and comment before you continue watching. All right, let me show you the materials that we're going to be needing for this top pan. So these are the materials you are going to be needing. I'm using my shiny powder, So you can go ahead to use other materials. Just make sure it is somehow not such like satin. But you can use satin to make all this flower. I use the fabric to make these flowers. I'm going to teach you how to go ahead to do that. So I cut out the fabric. I will explain how the measurement was cut. And we also been needing this trimmings. That is what I placed on my fabric. I wanted to place these pearls on it before, but I just find out that this was better on the fabric than the pearls. I'll be dealing my Hot glue with needle and thread with scissors and tape, and also be a sewing machine to make this fabric to make this design. All right, so to make this flower now, okay, let me just set this aside first. We are going to do that later. Let me just first explain how I cut out the fabric. So, for the length of this fabric, for the eye circle first side, I mean. I use 26 inches. For the extra conference side, I use 26 inches. While for the width, I use 18 inches. You can use 20 to 24. My fabric was not enough. That is why I used 18 inches because I like it when it is full and we are going to create pleats on it. That is why you will use more than 18 that I use here. But I'm going to manage this. I will create pleats on this. And I know we are familiar with this pleats, how to create the pleats. And this turban is going to be a V-shaped turban. I cut out 4 inches by 16 inches into 2. So let us start with this, the body of the turban. Now, on the wrong side of the turban, or the, of the fabric, now this is the length side, this is the hexagonal face side, like this. So I'm not going to explain this much because we are familiar with this. So I will start my measurement from... I will start my measurement from here to two inches into our the, the distance between the plates is going to be much. So you can if you are using more than 20 inches length, you can use one inch. It just, it just depends on the plates, how you want your plate to be, maybe close or far apart. So I'll be using two, two inches how fold. I will use my chalk to draw a straight line on it to two inches. Take it to my machine, fold it like this. I'm, this is the wrong side, please. So fold it like that and sew close to the edge like this. So that is how I'm going to do everything. Two inches interval. You can make your own one inch. You can make your own one and a half. It all depends on what you want to achieve and the materials you are working on. Like the if your material is enough, you can just do anything you want to your fabric. Let me go ahead to do this right now and show you the next thing we can do on the turban. Now this is how I'm going to do, so I'd like to show you on my sewing machine because of the beginners and marvels. So, I'm going to fold it like this, the two inches. Hope you are following me. So, I will sew. I will sew close to the edge. Please, if you know 
hope that you can sew without drawing a straight line on it. I would advise to draw a straight line on it and pick it one by one. It's because I'm familiar with this, that is why I'm not, I don't need to draw any straight line on it. So I'm used to this. After the first split, take another split two and a half inches between the first split and the second split. And I'll go ahead to sew. You can see where I sewed very close to the edge. I don't know maybe you can see where I sew very close to the edge. Same apply to the second line, third line, till you finish all, all the whole length of the fabric. So I'm going to finish all the whole length of the fabric now and show you the finished look. Like I will show you what I have done. Now this is how it's going to be after sewing. See? So it's got I was using 18 inches, so I use 18 inches. That is why I have it small like this, and I still have up to 14 and a half. At least you must have 15 to 16 inches. So for your plate to be full, you must use at least 22 inches or 22 to 26 inches. Make sure you use that. So for the band, just like I said, it's going to be a V-shaped band. I have notched the center fold inch into two. I'm taking my time to explain this because of the beginners we have. I know we are not in the same level. So I have not the center of that. And the V shape here, I have four inches by 16 inches into two. I'm going to fold in the right side facing the right side. Take it to my sewing machine and sew. Sew at the head. And if you don't want to sew, you just know how you make your V shape. So I just find it easy doing it like that when I sew. So I'll sew the two edge. The two edges straight and place it on each other to form the V shape. What it's going to do, I'm going to do it. I've already sewed the edge just like I explained. So you for, place it on each other like this. The cover place will be at your side. You understand? I'm just trying to take my time to explain this because of those of you that just join us. <laughs> All right, so when you place it on it, because if you don't do your V shape very well, even if you have, if you have been making it. And if you don't know how to make it very well, you know, you know how it's going to come out. So let this place touch where you sew, and let where you sew here touches the pointed area here. At least you must overlap five inches. At least five, four to five inches, you must overlap it so that the V shape will come out nice. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. Now you can use your office paint to paint it down, and you can just take it to your sewing machine to sew directly. Let me just do that right here so fold at least five inches so let me say four and a half inches the pointed area touches where you sew and where you touch so here touches the pointed area and you form you just sew like this and call me please so you sew like this like so in a v-shape for format you can see how i'm sewing it when i get here I cross it just in a V shape the way you the way you fold it or the way you place it on each other. Now you trim out the SS. So get the center of the V shape by folding it into two just like this. No sheet. Now take the sewing uh, the turban, the body of the turban, place it on each other this way. You can see how I placed it. If you do not form the V-shape very well, it's going to be difficult for you to place on the turban or the body of the turban. So you can just use your office pin to pin it down so, for, so that you have easy sewing. So use your office pin to pin it down. Now I'm going to sew from here. So why sewing now? I will sew on where I sewed or come to the other side so that it will show. Can you see how it's easy to sew? Because I place the V shape very well on it. You see, I have removed this pin. I'm going to straighten it very well to have a perfect V shape. You see at the end of the day that my V shape did not give me contour on the top. Or gallop. Now, after sewing, you trim out the excess, 
that you have here. I'm going to trim it out of the camera right now. Now, thereafter, you're going to fold this turban into two. This is the wrong side. Now, go ahead to use your temple to mirror your hair circumference. The hair circumference for normal hair circumference for adult is between 21 and a half inches to 22. So, I will be using 21, or let me say, I'll be using 20, uh, 21 inches. That is 10 and a half. So, I'll be using 10 and a half because I'm using the stretching fabric. So, I'll be using 10 and a half. And this I'm going to sew. I have made out the 10 and a half now. So get into this place. I'm going to call because we want this turban to be to have a back drop. I'm going to, that is the main reason I used 26 inches for the S face initially. So I'm going to come this way and I will sew back to back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so let me sew the band. I used 10 and a half because of the stretchy fabric I'm using. Please hope you can see. Let me check the camera so that I won't be doing another thing here. So I'm going to show. So getting to the back and getting to that place, I'm going to cuff it like this. I'm back to the damp part, like the side part. So I'm going to come down. I will come down. So before I reach this place, just you know how we do our this thing three or four, just cough it. There's not any specific anything special in that. Just make sure you cough it very well. So this table is going to be front and back gather. You're going to form. I did not cut this thing very well. I'm going to go ahead to cut it. Just try to work on your own very well. Uh, so if you have any excess here, just trim it out. Go ahead to weave it with your weaving machine to have a neat work or use your scissors, scissors to cut it out. The SS you have here. I'm going to do that later so that we we'll take more time. I'm going to come here to cut some parts out, you know, just to make it neat and make sure you weave it all. Just look for something to do to that place to have a neat work inside. Now I'm going to take my needle and thread, do a running stitch from here to where I cough. Sorry, from here. I'll start the running stitch from here. Hope you can see, I'll come to this side, go like that, stop here. Another stitch will be at the front after the band, and I'll stop here. Double your thread inside the needle, start your running stitch from here after the after you stop here, like where, where you stop here. So go like this, just go the way you sold it. Hope you can see the running stitch if you are not familiar with this. Okay, you see how I'm doing it like that. So I'm going to stop where I cough the turban by sewing. That is where my running stitch for the back is going to stop. So I'm going to stop right there. This all this. So make sure you draw it tight. You can go back again. To secure it very well. For the front gather, you know, this is how it was before to get the center. So I use my hand to press it down there, open it up like this. I've already I can trace it like that. So this is how I'm going to do the running stitch for the front. This is the center of the turban. Let me do it very well so that I don't want any mistake. You can use your shop to indicate it. You can see. You can use a shot to indicate it where you are going to pass your thread through. Oh, I'm recording the video. So I will open it up, do the running stitch like this. You can see where I am picking. It's only where I pleated and picking so that the thread we there is a way it comes out nice when you do it like this. Don't know how I can explain that, but I have tried so I have tried and that way before you can see that this one comes out well. If you are picking only the pleated place, so when you get to this place, just do it like this. 
draw everything together and you can go again to secure it where and if you can secure it where in another way just make sure you do that so i'm going to secure it now and show you the next thing to do on the turban ah i'm tired man <laughs> ah this well now it looks on my mannequin you see I'm still going to adjust the that's why that's that's why the fact that I use ten and a half is too big. I'm still going to adjust that later. So this is the back drop I was talking about. This is going to fall at the back, and that is what makes turban beautiful. When it is up, it don't it don't it don't usually come out nice, but when it falls down, it brings out the beauty. Now I'm going to teach you how we can make all this fabric flower. So I'll be attaching all this fabric flower to it. I made something similar to this last year, uh, last year. But I bought the flower from the market and the flower was even from this. You know, I sold, I did not sell less than 40,000 for the turban. And people were like, this turban is very simple. How is it expensive like this? They were expecting it to be like affordable and it is affordable, right? They, they were expecting it to be like 2000 3000 because of the nature of the turban, but it comes out nice because of the fabric that the flower I used was expensive. One pack is one four in the market, one four one six. So that is what I thought about. And like, let me just come out with something similar. Like, I use my hand to make, and at the end of the day, it comes out nice and beautiful. So that's why I came out with this. So I'm going to. Teach you how to make this fabric flower right now using the fabric I used to make the turban. Yeah, this is what I did. I got a round object. I placed it on my fabric and the round object was very small. I think the edge, the circumference for this is TV and a half. So you can use TV and a half, four inches. If you are using above four, it will be bigger than this. And we want something small that will be beautiful on our turban. So I just place the round object on my fabric, use my Bible to trace it out. So after tracing it out, I cut, I just use my scissors to cut it out. That is very simple. I don't need to show you that. So I have many pieces here. I don't know the number of fabric flower I'm still going to use on my fabric on my turban. But here are the circle. So this is what I did. I double my thread inside my needle and I'll do a running stitch at the edge of the fabric, at the edge of the fabric, just like this. So if, we are doing, if you are doing your running stitch, make sure you don't make it too big. Like the distance between the where you came out and where you come in must not be too big because we want to have small hole, like where our pearls can stay without having excess by the side. Like that's how our pair can occupy the place. So you're going to do the running stitch. I believe you have seen what I'm doing right now. And when you are doing the running stitch, don't go inside too much. It's only at the edge. You can see where I'm picking. You can see where I'm picking. So in case you want your own circle to be bigger than this, your own fabric, your flower to be bigger than this, make sure you increase. Make sure you increase the circle, the objects you want to use to cut out the circle. Make sure you find the one that is bigger than the one I'm using. Just like I said, I'm using TV and a half circumference for my circle. Like the object I use was TV and a half. So that is why the fabric gave me TV and a half after I cut it out. So you can see that I have a small space there where my pearl can just occupy and cover the place. So that is what I'm trying to say at the beginning, like when I was explaining it. So I'm just going to secure this and this is how you're going to form others. Let me secure it so that I can do one more for you to be able to get it. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I'm straight up. I swear, I'm just trying to rush some things out. See that I can bear and rest. I've been working since. Alright, so not this one. 
and let me show you another one so that it will be easy for you to do when you're working on your own and make sure you knot this thing very well like twice so if you if you don't want to use the fabric you used to make your turban maybe probably uh probably your fabric is not enough and you want to make this design you can use satin you can use satin So this thing is very simple to make. You can even go ahead to make more, more and begin to sell it to those people selling fabric, like tailoring accessories. But if you want to do that, you make sure you use a satin, use satin fabric instead of this kind of fabric. Oh goodness. So I, I don't even plan that this video is going to be long like this. But it is good, Sha, so that they can be able to get what I'm explaining. And don't vest that my talkie talk is too much. <laughs> I'm sorry, yo. We need to talk so that you will understand. So I'm trying to make the hole small and okay, let me say this, after you have drawn everything together and you find out the hole is big, just use your thread to do it the way I'm doing, bring the holes together, is it the holes or the hole, bring the hole together. <laughs> it's like make it close, make the hole close, I think that is the English to use. So I'm going to secure it now. I use my hot glue to attach the what is it called now to attach the trimming. So this is trimming. You are going to get it in the market. There is a way it comes when you see you see this. I know you're familiar with this. So go to the market. You can buy it. And you can use different things. I side this, but I love using this on it. The way it comes out nice. So you can use different thing. I'm going to and make sure you do this thing very well. If you don't do it well, it's not going to come out nice. So I'm going to cut out this thing one by one, like this. I use my hot glue to attach to it. And I have something like this. Wow! <laughs> All right, now I'm going to be using my hot glue to attach this to the turban make sure you do it very well you can see make sure you do it very well and avoid gum stain and avoid gum stain so i also like to say something because i was not using satin that is why i don't remember to tell you this so if you are using satin you know satin frays out when you cut it out it's going to fray okay it's going to fray out so make sure you use your lighter gas lighter or anything to just Bond the edge so that it will avoid it from fraying out. You understand? But this is a material that can't fray out. You understand? You can see, I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to say. Satin will fray out when you cut it out here. So use your light, uh, light your gas lighter to burn in to secure it from losing out. So now I'm going to use my hot glue, attach this to it. I'll start for me, so I'll go like that. I don't still know the number of flower that is going to be enough for me, so I can I will still do more. But let me just explain how you're going to attach your flower to the turban. So if you watch the video of the one I was talking about that I use ready made flower, I just did it this way. It's almost like this. But I think this one is even beautiful. <laughs> More beautiful than that. I don't know, maybe because of the trimmy I cut called the gold trimmy. Don't know maybe it's because of that. Don't even know. So
So I can go like that, two lines or TV lines, and I can even leave it like this. But I think I will go a second row. Make sure you apply enough hot glue and don't make it too much. So you can see how beautiful it looks. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to go the second time like this. Go the second time like this. And I'll show you the finished look. It's our finished look. See how it is. And here is it. See the side. See the front and the side. Alright, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to our channel before you leave. Click on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And also share and make comments. Like. Alright, bye. Bye.